Okay, I'm going to be working on his powder horn today. And uh, his shirt. I'm trying to get it finished up. And uh, then uh, his hands. Hopefully, I'll get to his hands today. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to uh, work on the uh, powder horn right now. There would be a plug in the powder horn. And that's what this is. I'm just going to make an indent. I don't want to make a hole. The indents where the uh, thong will be to keep the powder horn plug with the powder horn. So when he unplugs it, it will hang down, but not uh, get lost. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make a uh, groove for his uh, cord that will hold the uh, powder horn over his shoulder. I've made powder horns in the past, so I kind of know what I need to do with it. I had a powder horn years ago that was made for me and uh, had scrimshaw on it and everything and wish I could find that thing. But all the moving I've done over the years, I'll be lucky if I ever do find it. I've got to heat the end of this uh, piece of clay so that it melts into the back of... Ow, that hurt. <laughs> got my finger just a little too close to it. This is going to be the uh, part that the uh, thong in the back of it connects to to attach to the thong that goes over his shoulder as well. Okay, I gotta make tacks 
to hold the wooden plug at the back of the horn onto the uh, horn. First, I've got to smooth this out. I got a crease in the clay from when I rolled it. That's a little bit big. I'll have it. The hard part is getting all the tacks the same size. I can put the uh, powder horn on I've got to fine-tune that shirt just a little bit not a lot just enough to uh, be able to put the powder horn on there have to do the strap for this part later but for now I'm gonna just do the strap in the back here well you know what I'm gonna wait on that one too because I got to have the uh, shirt further along than it is right now go for the stop recording what I will do though is I'm gonna at least uh, paint this to match the clay. At least get that out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna give a little bunch to the uh, shirt right here where it, uh, the roominess of the shirt is uh, 
reacting to the tightness of the uh, pouch strap. I don't want to overdo it. But there would be a reaction to that uh, tension of that uh, strap. I see why I wait till last to do the hands because I'd be knocking fingers all over the place if I was doing it now. You sort of have to schedule what you do on your clay as you're working on it. Because as much as you want to do the fingers and the hand right away, it, uh, may cause you a lot of problems when you get into detailing of your, the rest of it. I'm just going to make the seam for the uh, shoulder of the uh, shirt. There'd be little micro wrinkles at that seam. I'm using Ronsonol lighter fluid and I put it in a ramekin that I bought at a uh, cooking store. And uh, I'm going to use that to uh, smooth out the clay a little bit. All that does is uh, gets rid of the little nodules of clay that uh, build up. It melts the clay a little bit, but it makes it so you can't sculpt for a while because uh, the clay, the uh, lighter fluid has to evaporate off the clay for you to be able to work with the clay or else it's too slick to work with for a while. Yeah, I like the way that looks right now. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.